Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am excited to be recording today. And I know it's been a few days. Me and the holidays and creating content don't always go together. I wanted to share something that I thought was pretty cool. I've never seen or heard of it done before, so I wanted to share. What I am doing is I'm combining an advent calendar with your Christmas stocking. So advent calendars are where you open up one thing a day between the 1st and the 24th. And for example, this is one that we got Alton this year. Yes, we got him an advent calendar. He's been enjoying it. I think advent calendars are fun because they're a way to, I don't know, keep some little surprises every day throughout the holiday season. But then also stockings. I, Andrew and I still like to do stockings as adults, but it's hard to do stockings for adults because you know, we're adults. So I thought, well, here's an idea to try to kind of still do stockings but spread it out all month long. And that way you kind of get some of that advent fun. Now this may sound kind of ridiculous, you know, totally first world problem, right? Now this year I bought one from a company specializes in like planner supplies because I really enjoy uh, plannering and stickers and crafting and all that. So I don't know what's in mine. And then I'm doing one for Andrew and one for my friend Robin who is coming to visit next week. So this is actually going to be her stocking. And um, these are her advent stocking gifts and we will open up uh, the first through when she gets here and then we'll open um, every night she's here and then I'll just send home with her her stocking and the remainder that she hasn't opened. So I hope she likes it. I hope it turns out to be as fun as I'm imagining it. Yes, technically Andrew and I could have started opening ours now but I thought, you know, let's wait till Robin gets here and then we can all do it together. So with that, I'm hoping all this stuff fits. I'm gonna start with the 24th in the bottom and just start stuffing it in here. Sometimes it's a little game of Jenga. Well, so far, so good. I mean, I guess technically whatever doesn't fit, I can just set on the outside of the stocking. That's what I had to do for some of mine. But we're to the 12th almost, and I still have, I don't know, about half. The problem is the packages are getting bigger. Yeah, this is not all gonna fit. Okay, so here's what we got. And then, then this is what didn't fit. So I'll just put that on the side. And there it is, hung with care. And then I just put the extras right up there. The house is pretty much decorated. I'm liking how it's come out. I'll do a separate video kind of giving a little house tour. I really like how this turned out. This is another type of an advent calendar. See, each window is marked with a day of the week. And then you open it up, and like here, let's see when they're opened. And you open it up and you see a little little image. This is like a, a animal village. I just thought it was kind of cute and whimsical. And then I added these uh, twinkle lights, just to give it a little pep. And we have all of our Christmas candy. Yes, we love chocolate in this house. Andy likes dark chocolate. I prefer milk chocolate. But he said he's really been enjoying these York peppermint patties. And fun fact, I made this ceramic tree when I was in, I think, the third grade. Let's see if it's dated. Jody, 1984? Let's see, 1984. I would have been eight years old. Yeah, I guess maybe third grade. So I just uh, remember making that. I loved doing arts in school. And I got pretty lucky that the teachers that I had liked to, to do art too. So yeah, lastly, obviously I'm not doing Vlogmas this year. I have tried Vlogmas twice <laughs> and not completed it both times. Last year wasn't really technically my fault. I um, had an eye situation that kind of took me out. Uh, of commission for the remainder of uh, last year's vlogmas. I will uh, leave a link to that video uh, in the description if you want to check that out. My eye is doing much better thankfully now that I know kind of how to treat it. And yeah this year I just wanted to just focus on decorating the house, preparing for my house guests, just not have the added pressure and rush of doing a video every day. Vlogging every day is not easy. I just 
didn't want to put myself through that this year. Might try it again next year. You can go ahead and check out my Vlogmas playlist of the past if you want to um, see some of that holiday content. But um, I do have a day in the life video I will put up this Friday. Um, I recorded it like a couple weeks ago. So I'm going to try to get back on schedule here and I appreciate your patience. I love what I do on YouTube here and I look forward to doing it more over the holidays and into the new year. And with that, my battery light's blinking so I'm going to say goodbye and I will see you in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye.